Last time, you have visualized how area and volume are obtained using double integrals. Now I shall teach you how to find the limits of integration, which are described according to Fubinus theorem. Let's start with our prism object. The question for this will be, find the volume of the prism whose base is the triangle in the xy plane, bounded by the x-axis, and the lines y equals x, and x equals 1, and whose top lies in the plane, having the equation. The first thing, you need to do is plot, plot the equation and find the common points, where the equations meet. After plotting, and getting the region, which is triangle, you have two choice of doing integration. Integrate first with respect to y, and then x or the reverse one. The choice is yours. If we integrate first with respect to y, we are integrating along the vertical line, on this triangle. Here we, integrate from left to right to include all these vertical lines. But, if we integrate first with respect to x, we integrate along a horizontal line, and then integrate from bottom to top to include all the horizontal lines. As I said before, the choice is yours, to use vertical line technique or the horizontal line. Now let us find limits of integration, using vertical line technique. For this, imagine a vertical line cutting through our triangle, in the direction of increasing y. Mark the y values, where the line enters and leaves. These are the y limits of integration and are usually functions of x. For finding x limits of integration, choose x limits that include all the vertical lines on our triangle. Now mark the smallest and largest x. These are the x limits. Finally, solve them to get the volume of prism. Now let's integrate using horizontal line technique where order of integration is reversed. You need to use horizontal lines instead of vertical lines. Imagine a vertical line through triangle in the direction of increasing x. The direction of increasing x is from left to right. Mark the x values where line enters and leaves. These are the x limits of integration and are usually functions of y. For y limits of integration, choose y limits that include all the horizontal lines. Now solve the integral, you get the same volume. The two integrals are equal, as they should be. Let us calculate the area only. For vertical line technique, mark the point where vertical line centers and leaves. These points are the y limit of integration. Now, choose x limits that include all the vertical lines. These points are the x limits of integration. Finally, solve them to get the area. For horizontal line technique, use horizontal lines, instead of vertical lines, with the order of integration reversed. 